Prince William, heir to the British throne, went through the ringer earlier this year when both his father, King Charles III, and his wife, Catherine, Princess of Wales, received cancer diagnoses. I imagine Prince William has suffered his own private turmoil, having both his father and wife undergoing cancer treatment at the same time, and without the support from his brother, Prince Harry, broadcaster Helena Chard told Fox News. It must be a lonely time, she added. I know he values every moment he spends with his wife as a doting husband and family man. Both the Prince and Princess of Wales have had time to reflect on life while the Princess has been undergoing treatment. They have spent as much time together as possible and, I can imagine, are closer than ever. They have endured a surprising wake-up call and will want to seize each day and live their best lives ever. In the wake of her continued preventative chemotherapy treatments, the future Queen will not attend the Colonel's review on Saturday June 8, for trooping the colour rehearsals. Although it is still unknown if HRH will go to the actual event on Saturday June 15, some insiders speculate she may appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony. As far as when the Her Royal Highness will return to normal royal duties, a Kensington Palace spokesperson also told the outlet, the princess is not expected to return to work until it's cleared by her medical team. Early childhood will continue to be central to her public work. Kate has not appeared in public at an event or engagement since Christmas Day 2023. Meanwhile, King Charles returned to the royal public royal duties in late April, and his medical team continues to claim the monarch is doing well with his treatments. Both the Sovereign and Princess of Wales types of cancer have not been disclosed to the public. Some medical insiders have claimed the King is likely dealing with a lymphoma malignancy whereas the future Queen could be using chemo to destroy potential cancer cells in her colon. Prince William has stood by his wife and father's sides throughout their ordeals this year, but one royal insider suggests these double blows when added to losing Diana, Princess of Wales, when he was only 15, could have the future King in crisis. Losing his mother at such a young age is guaranteed trauma, especially because she died so suddenly, they said. This institution requires stoicism at all times in public, so there is a possibility he had to repress much of his grief just like Harry. These new cancer scares with the King and Princess of Wales may have awakened all those suppressed emotions, even 27 years later.